On this day in June of 2020 something, my buddy Chris and I replaced the original struts on my NSX with Bilstein's, which lowered the car about three quarters of an inch. Stock ride height is just a bit too high and my old shocks were not doing much. My friend Corey let us use his shop and his equipment. This was my first time using quick jacks. They were really easy to use and really helped make the job a lot easier. Make sure that the lock bar gets past the lock block. The blue arrow is showing the proper alignment. Do not allow the release cam shown with the red X to get behind the lock block. The weight of the vehicle needs the strength of the lock bar. All right, let's go. Here is the front assembly. Remove the nut and bolt holding on the strut shown with the green arrow. Also remove the nut to remove the sway bar shown with the blue arrow. The orange arrow bolts might be optional, but we found it easier to have the speed sensor line out of the way. There are two bolts seen here and two more to the right on the back side of the hub. Remove the two bolts here to detach the brake line bracket. You do not need to reuse this bracket on the Bilstein since they have a built-in spot to attach it. The orange arrow is showing the brake line bracket from the other side. Having this loose makes it easier to remove the strut. If you remove the nut for the sway bar, it can rotate out shown with the green arrow. At the top, the seated nut shown with the green arrow was 10 millimeters by 1.25. However, the Bilsteins are 10 millimeter by 1.50. So you cannot reuse this nut. You will need to purchase new ones if yours did not include them. To get the old one off, I recommend hitting it with an impact wrench until it breaks free, but don't take it off all the way until the strut is removed from the vehicle. The three orange arrows point to the nuts that will also need to be removed. They're under these black plastic covers that pop off easily. Since we didn't have the nuts on hand, we went to Wilco to buy some. Well, there we looked at the chickies. Then we got some McDonald's and they gave us more food than we ordered. When torquing this back together, you will need a crow foot, a 15 millimeter for us, and a five millimeter Allen or hex wrench. The specs I found online were 22 pound feet for the nut at the top of the damper, 36 to 39 pound feet for the three nuts holding the top hat, and 69 pound feet for the bolt at the bottom of the strut. Please verify those specs before you do this yourself. To get to the rear struts, open the rear engine cover and the trunk. Then remove the rear garnish by removing seven Phillips screws. On my to-do list is to buy the Davis Design Coil Guard Seal Kit for it. That kit helps keep water off of your engine. The link is in the description. For the rear struts, you only need to remove this one nut and bolt indicated with the green arrow. Doing so will allow the sway bar to swing away. We ended up unscrewing the entire rear sway bar held onto the body by four bolts to make the job easier. This is the most difficult part of getting the rear struts out of the car. There might be an easier way to do it, but we compressed the springs and just worked to get this to come out. Be careful not to damage the CV boot. It was pretty easy to get the new Bilstein struts in and bolted up.
This is how the car sat after the install, but before driving it around, which will allow it to settle a bit more. About a week after the install, we took it to Ron Tonkin Acura in Beaverton, Oregon for an alignment. They have worked on my car before and I was impressed with their work. Here are the results of the alignment. They couldn't get the rear wheels into the recommended spec by about half a degree due to the car's new height. I will have it checked again maybe next spring. Spring? Helka Helka? I'm not really sure where Helka Helka originated from, but it's something my father-in-law has said for a long time. We took Germantown Road back since that is a pretty drive and has a lot of windy roads. The NSX handled it beautifully. The interstate bridge was up, so I-5 was shut down for a good 15 minutes, and we sat next to a cow truck. I leave you with a photo of my car after the install from Biturbo A4 at ProTech for an Avance magazine release. My car can be found on page 121 of their latest magazine. We have accounts on Facebook, Instagram, Truth, and more, if anyone would like to follow us. We also have Venmo, if anyone feels generous. All of our links are in the video description. The year was 2020-something, and that's the year you liked and subscribed to our channel. See you next time.